Hi! For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the functions and formulas on Excel that even a beginner can use. Some of these are addition, subtraction, multiply, divide, sum, minimum, maximum, count, average, and median. So let's try addition first. Let's try adding 1 plus 1. All you have to do is to start with an equal sign and then 1 plus 1. And then you can click enter. And 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Now, instead of typing numbers only, you can also use numbers with letters. So let's try starting with an equal sign. And then you can click on the cell B1 or type B1 plus C1. And then click enter. And the answer is 2. Same as the first one. Now let's try on subtraction. For example, we have here 3 minus. one you can start with an equal sign and then three minus one and then click enter and three minus one is equal to two now let's try on corresponding letters and numbers so I start with an equal sign and then type b2 or just click the corresponding cell and then minus c2 and then click enter and the answer is 2. now what about to multiply let's do an example again for example you have here 2 then let's multiply it by 2 and what are we going to do is to start with an equal sign here and instead of using x as the multiplication sign we can use asterisk instead. So let's try on 2, and then asterisk, and then 2. And that's 2 times 2. Click enter, and the answer is 4. Now, let's try on using code or the corresponding cell. We can erase that first, and then equal sign, and then B3. Or just click on that cell and then asterisk C3. And then click enter and 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And the answer is just the same. Now let's try on divide. Let's try 4 divide by 2. And here put an equal sign. And then we can go straight ahead with the code. B4. And we can use forward slash as our divide symbol. Then C4. Click enter and the answer is 2. 4 divide 2 is 2. Addition, subtraction, multiply, and divide are just 2 straightforward. But what if you want to... Get the sum of all of this value. You can add them like 1 plus 1 plus 2, but that takes a long time. And we don't want to do that. What you can do is to use a formula to get the sum total easily. You're going to start here with an equal sign and then type sum. Then you can insert open parentheses. And what you can do is to click on the cell one by one like B1, comma, C1, comma, and then D1, comma. And that take a long time. So what we can do is we can erase this first. And then you can select all the values you want to sum. Like this. You can click here and select them all. And then insert close parentheses 
and then click enter. And there you get the sum of that values. So you can check if you add all of these values, you can get a sum of 26. Now let's try on getting the minimum value of this data. What we are going to do is to start with an equal sign and then type on min. Then insert open parentheses and same as before, we can select all of the values here to here and then insert on close parentheses and then click enter and the answer is one the minimum value of this data is one and to get the maximum we can start with an equal sign and then type on max insert open parentheses then select all of the data and then insert close parentheses click enter and the answer is 4. The maximum value of the data is 4. But what if we change value on the data? Like for example, we can click here and then change it into 4. And now you can see that the maximum account changed into 8 because the maximum account now is 8. As we use the formula, it will automatically change according to the data. Let's try changing this into 0. And then click enter. The minimum amount now is 0. And that's pretty amazing. Now, what if we want to know if how many values are in there? We can start with an equal sign and then type on count insert open parentheses and then you can select all of the values you want to count insert close parentheses and then click enter there you have 12 values in there and the most interesting here is that it will not count the cell that has no value like for example let's clear this first then start with an equal sign and then Type on count, open parentheses, and here you can select all of these cells including the cells with no value. And then insert close parentheses and then click enter. The answer is 12. It will not count the cells that has no value. Now we want to get the average value of the data. For example, we have here 100. 200 and then 300 and to get the average value of that we can start with an equal sign and then type on average open parentheses and here you can select this data like click on 100 200 and 300 insert close parentheses and then click enter the answer is 200 and that's right 100 plus 200 plus 300 divided by 3 is 200 now we want to get the median what's in the middle between 100 200 and 300 so let's start with an equal sign and then type on median open parentheses and then select the data close parentheses and then click enter and the answer is 200 the value in the middle between 100 to 300 is 200 and there you have learned about some of the functions and formulas on excel thank you for watching i hope this video helped you out Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. See you on the next video.